Ukrainian aircraft destroyed Russian ammo depot in Crimea. Ukrainian aircraft struck a Russian ammunition depot in temporarily occupied Crimea. Air Force Commander Mykola Oleshchuk said this in a post on Telegram. Ukrainian aircraft allegedly destroyed by enemy propaganda continued to successfully perform combat missions, carry out missile and bomb strikes on the occupiers' positions and eliminate important military facilities in the enemy's deep rear. On July the 1st, 2024, Ukrainian pilots delivered a devastating strike on an ammunition depot in Crimea, Oleshchuk said. According to some telegram channels, the target was the warehouse from the Shahed 136-Geran Geran 2 UAV. The target capacity of low-cost drones is 90 units. On the 1st of July, the Russians launched a ballistic strike against the armed forces airport in Poltava Oblast. Russian propaganda came up with headlines screaming about many destroyed Ukrainian aircraft. Late in the evening, Colonel Yuri Inat, Ukraine's Air Force spokesperson, responded emotionally to the expert opinions on social media. Inat confirmed that there was a Russian strike and there are some losses of military equipment in the armed forces, but not as much as the Russians claim. The Air Force is doing everything to counteract the enemy, to mislead them, including through dummies and other means, said Inat. At the same time, on the 1st of July, explosions were reported in the cities of Sevastopol and Balaklava, occupied Crimea. Mikhail Razvozeev, the so-called governor of Sevastopol, claimed that air defense downed four targets. At the same time, local telegram channels reported a column of smoke that rose after the explosion. Mikhail Razvozeev, the Russian leader in Sevastopol, claimed that air defenses were operating in the city. Telegram channel Crimean Wind shared a photo reportedly taken by locals showing a tall column of smoke rising above Balaklava, presumably near a local thermal power plant. The Ukrainian military regularly strikes at Russian military facilities in the temporarily occupied Crimea. For this purpose, long-range weapons made in the West and Ukraine are used. Previously, the space communication center of the Russian invaders was hit in Crimea. The Russians seized the facility during the annexation of Crimea. Turkey faced a series of devastating wildfires over the weekend, severely impacting the Izmir region. The fires, which began in various parts of Izmir, have caused significant damage to forested areas, with hundreds of hectares burned. The combined efforts of local and national firefighting teams have brought the situation under control, but the scale of the disaster is still unfolding. Among the most affected areas were the Selchuk and Menderes districts, where fires spread rapidly due to strong winds. The fire in Sesame was traced back to a discarded cigarette butt, highlighting the human factor in the outbreaks. The extent of the damage became apparent at dawn, revealing scorched lands stretching to the borders of neighboring province Aydin's Kusadasi district. Minister of Agriculture and Forestry of Turkey, Ibrahim Yamakli, announced that the intensity of the fire in Balakizer Susurluk has been significantly reduced and that interventions in the fires in Izmir Selçuk and Menderes are ongoing. Fires in Sesim and Torbali, Izmir, on the west coast of Anatolia have been brought under control, while efforts continue to manage the fires in Selçuk and Menderes. Minister Yumakli confirmed that the Selçuk-Kusadasi road is closed as a precaution, and no residential areas or facilities are at risk, although some people were affected by the smoke, there are no health threats. As emergency services continue to assess the damage and conduct cooling operations, the full extent of the impact is becoming clearer. Authorities have issued warnings for the coming week, predicting intense winds and high temperatures, which could elevate the risk of further fires. They urge the public to exercise caution and report any suspicious activities immediately to prevent another disaster.